Good morning, everybody. Um, I'm going to do a math lesson. I'm trying to get this camera right, sorry. Um, today's lesson is going to be about area. Um, I told you to have your book open to page 845, and that's where they talk about area. Area is another way of measuring things. Um, area is going to tell us how much space is covered, okay? When we talked about perimeter, um, perimeter was just around the outside. So I'm going to go back to the square. Okay, and perimeter, we, we talked about if this was your yard and you wanted to keep um, your animals in the yard, you would want to put a fence around the outside. Okay, area is the opposite. It's all the stuff inside the shape. Okay. If you were putting in a fence, you wouldn't want to put it around the object. Um, you're just going to go around the outside. Area is going to fill it all up. Um, a great example of area is putting carpet down on a floor. You don't want the carpet to just go around the outside of the floor, just a little strip around the edge. You want it to cover the whole floor. So area is covering all of it. To find that, we have to do whatever the length measurement is times the width measurement. Length times width, okay? Now, if it's a square, we know that all four sides would be the same. So if I say this is five feet, then we know the top, the right, the bottom, they're all five feet also. If this is my length of five feet, then the width will also be five feet. I do five times five, and we get a total of 25 feet. Now, area um, is showing me all the distance, all this amount inside, and so we call that 25 feet square. Okay. Why do we do that? Well, if you look over at your um, math book on page 845, um, the example they have, sorry, I'm still trying to figure out this camera. Um, they show you the rectangle there is 10 feet by 5 feet, and each, all of it is covered with squares. So when we're measuring the inside, we're going to measure how many of those squares would fill up that space. So if I have five feet here, that means I would have five squares across, five squares down, okay? And if I counted all of those squares, I would get 25, okay? We don't have to do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We don't have to do that because it's like an array. If there's five this way and five that way, we can multiply those out and get 25 feet. Um, let's do the example that's on page 845 with that rectangle that has 10 feet and five feet. Okay, again, area can be found by doing the length times the width. My length for this shape is 10 feet. My width is five feet. 10 times five, of course, is 50. Feet is the unit we're using. And we're going to add SQ for those squares. You can see that the picture on page 845 of having all of those squares. So again, that's like an array. If we counted up all of those squares, there would be 50. We don't have to count them all though because we can do it like an array and multiply five times 10. Okay. On page 846, Let's look at one more together. Um, 
let's look at the bottom. Number one, they have a rectangle there. They didn't tell you what the measurements are. Instead, they gave you the squares. Okay. Um, on the top, there's four squares. So we're going to have a four. Now, they didn't tell us how they measured it. They didn't tell us if it was inches, feet, meters. So when they do that, we can just call those units. Okay? Whatever unit they did use, we could stick that in there. But right now, it's just a unit. Going down the rectangle, we have, let me make sure I get my right number right, eight units. I'm just going to put a U on that one. Length is eight. Width is four. Eight times four is 32. This time we're using units squared. Okay, this labeling is important with area. Okay, we have to stick that in there. Otherwise, we don't know what we're doing. Um, is it 32 bowling balls? 32 bananas? 32 orangutans? I don't know. Okay? So we need those unit, uh, that, that measurement, so we know exactly what we're talking about. Almost always, they're going to put in some measurement. Inches, feet, meters, whatever. Okay? Uh, one other thing, when it comes to the length and the width, uh, which one's which, Miss Tana? I don't, I don't. It doesn't matter. It really doesn't. As long as you're getting each of the two measurements that they gave you. Now, if you do eight times eight, that's not going to work. Four times four, that's not going to work either. You need one distance and the other distance that would make the length and the width. But it doesn't matter if you do eight times four or four times eight. Okay? Let's try one more. Number two looks really easy. It's just a little square that has uh, three yards as its measurement. They even gave you two of them, two of those measurements. We don't really need them because we know squares, all the same. Okay, length, three yard. Width, also three yards. Three times three, nine. Yard is our unit, and because we're doing area, don't forget this, squares. All right, it's really that simple, guys. Um, your assignment is to do page 849 and 850. Um, again, you can either type your answers into a Google Doc or take a picture of your pages and send it to me. Um, I got it both ways yesterday, and that seemed to work really well. If you have any questions, just give me a call. I mean, text me, whatever. <laughs>